Real Deal. Real fishing information from real fishing experts. Presented by Amsoil. One of the cool features on these new HDS units is, is that you can actually set it up to record a screen. And where that's been really nice is, is on our website, we've had several people actually post screens on our forums and then have other people analyze them and help tell what's down there. So I've actually done that out on the water here on Oahe because we've got a kind of a neat situation here. With the water way up, there's actually a lot of vegetation, whether it's the old grass or old bushes or willow trees or whatever down there, that sometimes can fool you into thinking there might be fish when there actually aren't. So what I've done is set up my unit to show two different views. One is the regular sonar, one is the new down scan. So on this particular one that I logged earlier, what you can see is some pretty obvious fish. Right here's a fish, there's a fish, you know, they're up off the bottom, they've got the yellow, they've got the orange in them. How those show up on down scan is just these kind of little dots or blobs. So this is obviously the place to look for fish, but why I want to look at my down scan is, is because it can show you things that might fool you. For example, right over here in this side of these, what looks like fish marks, if you look at the down scan, there's actually a bush over there. A little tiny little buck brush or something under there. Let me show you a different screen here that even shows this more clearly. And what I want to show you here is, you know, if you looked over here, you might think, boy, that could be some fish. Got some yellow, got some orange in it. But if you look over at the down scan side, it's obviously right here, a bush or a little tree down there. By looking at two different views on the same sonar, using regular sonar and down scan, I can really easily tell what's fish, what's bushes, what I want to go after, and what I don't want to run my baits through.